friends and welcome to birds oh man oh i am so happy this got a video game for those who don't know wingspan is a tabletop board game that has some of the most beautiful art i have ever seen in a board game and it is very relaxing very serene very peaceful it's a game all about watching birds and making birds do bird things. It's great, I love it, oh my god! I'd like to thank my friend Skillet for getting me actually like playing this. I've had it for a while and I fell in love with it the minute I saw it first reviewed on um, uh, Dice Tower, but I just never got the chance to play it until they made a video game. And yeah, it's great, it's birds! Let's get started with a custom game. Uh, I like I like puffins, but I don't want to beat up a puffin right now. <gasps> yes, owl. Give me owl. <coughs> Give me owl. All right. On that note, let us begin. So the game is very simple. You have. Or you can take one of four actions on each of your turns. And as you'll notice here, you get one last turn per round. Um, you can play a bird, gain food and activate the forest, lay eggs and activate the grasslands, or draw birds and activate the wetland. This will be very important. You'll also notice these little things. These are end of round things. So for the end of the first round, we're gonna want a bunch of eggs in that kind of nest. I forget exactly what that, uh, what that specific type of nest is called. This one is just burbs in, in the grassland biome. This one is birds with brood nests with eggs in them. And this is just eggs in the wetlands biome. Looks like I go first. What do we, <gasps> grow? Why am I clucking like a chicken for crow? I love crows! Crows are so nice! And a great road order! No, but you're very expensive. Oh, you are very expensive. Draw two new bonus cards. You know, I'm gonna go with that. And then we get to go with three food. So I'm gonna go fish, rat, and insect. Because that will get all the birds I have on the board. Burb! Ah, and we get to choose one of these. Birds with a bird power! <laughs> Two for bird. <laughs> um, birds with geography terms in their names. Uh, if I get two... To uh, oh, this is, um, this is a draw bird power. Man, both of these are not great. Um, this one has more of a chance, so let's go with that one. Okay. So now they get to start up their turn. Alright, now the f I've chosen to keep a bird, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, for my first move, well, let's, let's see what birds we have available down here. Oh, we have a Cener Waxwing. Tuck a burb from your hand under this burb. If you do, get one berry from the supply. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my first turn to gain Oh, do it. I'm not sure if I want to play a bird or gain food. 
I could play either of these guys. But then I'm up Chick Creek without a paddle. Although, I've got... The feeder's got me covered. Um, discard one egg from any berm. You know what? We're gonna put the fish crow here. And... You know what? I like fish crow. These birds may eat more fish than other crows, but they're actually omnivores. <laughs> so, what I love about this game is that every time you first play a specific bird, they'll give you, like, a little fact about them. It's great. I love it. Birds are great. I have gained food. Well, my wise man, I will be gaining food as well. Um... And in this case, I'm going to gain insect. Cool. All right, what are you gonna do? You placed the peregrine falcon. Oh, I gotta see that. Ah! Ah! Oh, beautiful bird. Lovely plumage. <laughs> Uh, I am going to take the only reason I want the cedar waxwing is because it would help me towards the goal but it also will help me towards the next round goal as well um So it's worth getting. Common loon! Ah, he took the common loon. I've drawn birds! No, you drew a bird. Um, okay. So I'm gonna get more food. Now you notice that, uh, John birds. All right, which bird did you take? You took the loon. I don't blame you. Um. Beep, beep. You can't play. Oh, I have to lay eggs. Hard off. When activated, discard any egg from your other birds to gain one from the supply. Must be another bird. Don't have other birds. Alright, what do you got for me, Crowley? You've drawn more birds. You are drawing a lot of birds. That concerns me a little bit. Greater Roadrunner. Roadrunners rarely fly, but will jump up to snatch prey out of the air. Alright, for my next couple of turns, I'm gonna egg! Alright, let's see what this is. Oh, it's too big, I can't eat it. Oh well. I am a genius. Oh, I did not know that did that. That's nice. That's, that's nice. Uh, hmm. This is not going precisely how I wanted it to, but that's okay. There's no berries in the feeder. Um, I'm just gonna draw a bird. Um, you know what? That might work 
well. So let's let's draw a bird. Let's draw the northern shoveler. Ooh, the California quail. Hey! <laughs> oh, not neither of us did that, but I'm I'm looking good for round two. All right, what do we got going on here? I played a grasshopper sparrow. Um, northern mockingbird. Oh, that's that's a really good bird. I want that bird. And now I also want food, like a lot of food. Um, Mockingbird. A male mockingbird may learn around 200 songs throughout its life. All of them are laughing at you. <laughs> I chose the other card. Um, fortunately, no other brown powers in that habitat, but that's okay. Watch this. Waxwing. Cedar waxwings are one of the only birds in North America that eat exclusively fruit. So now, whenever I go for food, I can get two food, just as a rule. And I also get a bunch more food because of the cedar waxwing. So let's let's begin with that, shall we? <laughs> Oh, I don't have a... That's right. I need to tuck a bird from my hand to do that. Uh, let's rethink this strategy. Do I want to lay eggs? Yes, I do. What do we get? Oh, man! You're a big boy! Do I want to discard egg for food? So that's the trick to this game, is building up stuff. Drum birds. Um, you know what? The American. Ah! So we are tied. The 
great egret! I see those things more often than someone who lives as far up north as I do should. Um... None of the food in the feeder is gonna help you. And you are both... Wait, no, you're both pileness. Not this time. Not this time. I should have kept that other bird! what I want to do right now. No. Right now, I want to get that avocado into play. God damn it! That was useless to me! Wait, hold on. you have. Oh, this is the most inefficient turn I've ever played! other birds' nests. On another bird with a... Okay. sacrifice one of your eggs to also take the great egret. Skipping my turn! That I'm 
dungeon was less, uh... Less effective than I thought it would be. I'm not doing so hot. benefits from these guys because I'm just not drawing enough birds and the birds I do draw I want to keep Although now I do. Chestnut collared longspur. This bird's population dropped by 82% between 1966 and 2015. Birds will sometimes follow after great egrets as they stir up prey. Alright, I'm laying eggs for the rest of the game. really. I should have kept that one bird that just let me draw birds. That would have been a really good combination to have instead of whatever the fuck I was trying to do. Of 
course, this idiot had all these tucked cards. It didn't help I got abysmally lucky with the, or terribly lucky. I did not have luck when it came to drawing birds for, uh, for my predation. Alas. I, I always feel like if I could just take one more action per turn in this game, I'd be so much better. Raven's a really good bird. I wish it had come up sooner. Crow is like Raven, but slightly worse. Oh well. Thanks for joining me. We will play this again someday, and I will win. But for now, I shall continue to practice. I shall see you all for another Saturday for perhaps something else.